Hello designers, in this video, we will create a motion graphics ad using Adobe After Effects. First, create a new composition with dimensions of 1080 by 1920. Then, take the text tool and type sale. Adjust the font and size of the text to your preference, and place it at the top of the composition. Enlarge the text so that it covers the entire width of the composition. Next, duplicate the text layer three times and move each duplicated layer downwards, stacking them on top of each other. The goal is to cover the entire composition with the word sale. Once you've done this, Select all of the text layers and align them in the center, distributing them vertically. After that, pre-compose these layers by pressing Ctrl-Shift-C on your keyboard. In the project panel, duplicate the sail fill pre-composed layer by pressing Ctrl-D on your keyboard. Move the duplicated layer on top of the original sail fill layer. Double click on the duplicated layer to open it. Here, we will convert all of the fill into a stroke. Select all of the text layers, give them a stroke of the same color as the original fill, and remove the fill. Increase the stroke width to 15 pixels. Go back to the main composition. Move 13 to 14 frames forward, depending on how long you want the first frame to stay. Use the shortcut Ctrl Shift right arrow key to move 10 frames forward, and Ctrl right arrow key to move 1 frame forward. After moving 14 frames forward, trim the sail fill layer at the bottom by pressing Alt and the left square bracket to trim it from the start. Select the top sail fill layer and trim it from the end by pressing Alt and the right square bracket. Now, go to the project panel and duplicate the sail fill layer again. Drag and drop this duplicated layer at the bottom of the timeline. Trim it from the start by pressing Alt in the left square bracket. Double click to open this pre-composed layer. Select the first three text layers and delete them. We need to change the text here. Select the remaining text layer, scale it down, and change the text from sail to 40% off. Adjust the font size as needed, and align it to the top. Next, duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl D on the keyboard and move the duplicated layer downwards. First, align them in the center. Then, select the bottom text layer, remove the fill, and give it a stroke. Increase the stroke width and adjust its position. After that, select both of these text layers and duplicate them by pressing Ctrl D. Move the duplicated layers downwards. Repeat this process by pressing Ctrl D again and moving the duplicated layers downwards. Once done, select all of these layers. Align them in the center, and distribute them vertically. Go back to the main composition. Move 14 frames forward and trim this layer from the end by pressing Alt in the right square bracket. Finally, go to the project panel and duplicate this sail filled 3 layer by pressing Ctrl D drag and drop it onto the timeline at the bottom. Trim the duplicated sail fill 3 layer from the start by pressing Alt in the left square bracket. Double click to open this pre-composed layer. Delete the first text layer. Select all remaining layers and move them to the top. In the previous pre-composed layer, the first text layer on top was a fill. Now, in this second layer, the text layer on top should be a stroke. Duplicate one of these layers and move the duplicate to the bottom. Select all the layers, align them in the center, and distribute them vertically. Go back to the main composition. Move 14 frames forward and trim this layer from the end by pressing Alt in the right square bracket. Next, create a new solid layer. 
go to layer, new, solid and give this solid a grayish color. Move this solid layer to the bottom of the layer stack. Select all the text layers and pre-compose them by pressing Ctrl-Shift-C on your keyboard. Name this pre-composed layer text. Now let's import the main model images. Go to File, Import and select all the main model images. Drag and drop the imported model images onto the timeline. Move forward by 14 frames and trim them using Alt and the right square bracket. Ensure these layers are offset precisely without any gaps between them. Once completed, select all the PNG images of the models. Pre-compose them by pressing Ctrl, Shift, and C on your keyboard. Name this new pre-composed layer model. Double-click on the model pre-composition to open it. Focus on the first PNG image. Apply effects to this first image only, then duplicate these effects for the others. First, toggle on the transparency grid for clarity. Search for drop shadow in effects and presets. Apply it to the first PNG. Adjust the drop shadow distance and set opacity to 100%. If you need to add a stroke behind any image, search for fill in effects and presets. Apply the fill effect, choose a color. I will select white color. Then, search for simple choker and apply it to the layer. Next, in effects and presets. Search for CC Composite and apply it to the layer. You'll notice the fill effect has been applied. To ensure both the drop shadow stroke and the fill are visible, move the drop shadow effect below the fill effect in the layer stack. To adjust the fill effect, go to the Simple Choker Properties. Increase the choke mat value until the stroke behind the image becomes visible. Now, duplicate all these effects. Select all effects applied to the layer. Copy them by pressing Ctrl-C select the other PNG layers. Paste the effects by pressing Ctrl-V onto each of these layers. Ensure all model PNGs have the effects applied. Return to the main composition and preview the animation. Check that everything looks good. Move the timeline indicator to the end of the animation. Go to the project panel and import the last model image. Use import file to select and import it. Drag and drop this image onto the timeline. Pre-compose the current composition by pressing Ctrl, Shift, and C on your keyboard. Double click to open it. Create a new solid by going to Layer, New, Solid. Make it white and adjust its opacity by pressing T and decreasing it. Use the Text tool to write 40% off. Adjust the font and size as needed. Position this text layer appropriately. In Effects and Presets, apply an effect called Stretchy to this text layer. Preview the effect to ensure it looks good. Next, import the PNG image of Shop now that you saved earlier.
drag and drop it onto the timeline. Resize it as necessary. With the shop now layer selected, use the rectangle tool to draw a mask over it. Enable the inverted option for the mask. Click the stopwatch next to mask path. Move forward by 20 frames. Adjust the mask's path to reveal the shop now text. Increase the feather to 48% for a smoother transition. Preview the animation to check its appearance. Select both mask keyframes and move them to the point after the 40% off animation ends. Return to the main composition and preview the entire animation. Offset the final pre-composed layer to align with the end of the model and text animations. I think the white solid should be changed to a grayish color. Go back to the final pre-composed layer and adjust the color of the solid. Select the white solid layer. Press Ctrl, Shift, and Y to bring up the solid settings. Change the color to a grayish tone and press OK. Return to the main composition and preview the entire animation. Your video is now complete. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe to Ace Designs.